YouTube, thank you for being here with me. I appreciate you. I know it's been a minute since I've been here, but there's not have been any bad rap topics that I want to talk about, nothing enticing to me, nothing that jumps out of me. So I didn't have anything to really talk about, uh, but I needed to find something. So I was doing some research, trying to find anything that I could possibly talk about. And I happened to find something in this room right here. As I look to my right, look to my left, look up behind me, I see something else out of the box. I said, damn, those are returning this year, the end of 2023. And that is the Black Toe One, which will be the reimagined version. Um, so the collar is going to have like this cracked look. For the mock up that I've seen, the collar is going to have the cracked look as well as this midsole piece here. Um, it's supposed to be that you had it, you lost it, and um, you know, you didn't wear it, so it doesn't look, how can I say, it doesn't look worn, it just looks old, like you know, something happened to it, you know what I mean? Um, and we've seen it before with the. Chicago or the Red Toe. You know, people they have a ton of different names for these. I call them the Chicago, but as you like to call them now, the Lost and Found one, which is just the Chicago. Mm. Um, but just in a reimagined version. So, so I was talking about that collar here, that, that little piece here, that mid-top piece here. That's really it. Yeah, everything else is um, pretty standard for the Chicago Air Jordan 1. I did for right now. I got the double lace. I'm gonna take them out. I'm gonna take them out. Y'all won't let me live my life. Y'all will not let me live my life. And that's not right. I should be able to, I should be able to do this and not get no backlash. I got hella backlash. It's ridiculous. So I'm going to do the, uh, I'm just doing all black laces. Um, but yeah, so these here are from 2020, 2023, 2013. I got these out in a flight club down in New York City. Um, it was actually New, Year, New Year's Day, actually. Um, or like New Year's Eve. And uh, I think I paid the, re the retail, I mean, the resale price was like $325, something like that at the time. Imagine that, it was 325 then, that was 10 years ago, so you can imagine what it would be today, okay? And I'm, I love this thing, I really do. Um, I believe this was my first Air Jordan 1 hot, I'm pretty sure, because I missed the Chicago releases every single time. I've missed them every single time, so, um, and for whatever reason, I wasn't really, like, I didn't, like, need them, I didn't love them back then, I don't know why. Um, you know, but as the time went on, as my love for Air Jordan 1s, Jordans in general, grew, I had to get, I needed a pair, you know, and I tried to get them before, but it wasn't like, I didn't go all out, I'll say that, but I'm finally glad I got a pair, um, so yeah, I need a new pair of these, um, because they're like in my rotation for ones and my sneakers, um, in general, and, uh, they're getting a little worn, you know what I mean, they get a little worn down, so I definitely need a new pair, and, um, I just want to know what y'all think, y'all excited for the, the Lost and Found, or the Lost and Found, the reimagined version of the Black Toe 1? I am, I really am, I can't, I hope that they really do it, it's looking like they're going to do it, um, but there hasn't really been any major updates to that sneaker, so I'm hoping that they do it, they produce it, and they make it the same quality as these bad boys here, this, this, a good quality shoe, leather, the, the age leather feels good, the toe feels good, they smell good, you know, everything is good. Everything is good, so please deliver. Jordan Brand, thank you very much. Thank y'all for tuning in. Appreciate y'all. I need to find something to talk about, and I found this. I hope you enjoy it. Take something from it. I don't take anything. I don't know. All right, peace.